Alright, good luck to the uh, final video of the A28 ending and approaches, and, and I'll demonstrate that in a little bit here. But for now, um, I'll just hold full back elevator pressure until we get to about 70 miles an hour, and then I'll start pushing, uh, purposefully pushing the nose down uh, and letting the aircraft. Alright, so I'm just angling off to the side and I'll see you guys on the first approach. Alright, so my track hour is a little screwy, so I'm at this weird point of view. But basically, I'm following Thor's advice, coming in at 150 miles an hour, and 30 on the manifold seems to... I'm a little bit low because I'm... I'm lower on the manifold because I'm high, but 30 on the manifold seems to keep you at about uh, between 130 and 150 miles an hour as you come in to land, just as a reference, and I do have full flaps down. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping the power in, like Thor said, just keeping the power in throughout the entire approach until the wheels actually touch the ground, and I'm getting some good results with that. So again, uh, between 130 and 150 miles an hour, uh, keeping the power in until the uh, wheels touch down. You're almost flying the aircraft onto the ground. And then uh, I'll demonstrate a takeoff here and we'll come back and try another one. Alright, so as I'm making my final approach here again, again, speed is 150 miles an hour, about 30 manifold, and uh, just keeping the power on all throughout the approach. A little bit of a crosswind here, so I'm dealing with that as well. Alright, it's so the same thing, 150, keeping the power on, flying the aircraft onto the ground, neutralizing the stick as soon as I touch down. And again, I'm, I'm neutral on the, uh, on the chair here. Alright, we'll do one more. Alright guys, so here's the last one, uh, and again, 150 miles an hour, neutral on the uh, elevator trim, so no excessive downward force uh, using trim, and we'll demonstrate this final landing here, and then I'll give you my thoughts on what I think is going on. So keeping the power on until the wheels touch and slowly reducing the throttle as we roll out. Okay, so just some final thoughts. Um, the fact that we're coming in at 150 miles an hour and neutralizing the elevator tells me that there's probably something going on with the elevator effectiveness at the higher airspeed. Uh, there's more airflow, there's more downwash on the elevator, and therefore I think that's what's keeping the uh, nose down uh, because of that higher approach speed. So it could still be a CG issue. It could be a... Uh, a 
downwash issue on the elevator effectiveness. It, if, according to the uh, POTS operating handbook, we're supposed to be approaching between 100 and 120 miles an hour, hopefully touching down around 90 miles an hour, but that's not giving us sufficient uh, nose down control, and it's causing that bounce because the nose truly does want to come up. So uh, I think it's one of those two issues, but either, you know, we do have a solution for it. I would just like to see this resolved uh, in the future. Um, so thanks for joining me on this journey. And uh, hopefully we can enjoy flying the Mustang and other World War II aircraft in the future. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.